Um, I do. Despite their record, they're still America's team. Don't want to argue about it. I have that's the final say. <laughs> hey, as a coach, I've not received the love from the national guys like you were at the Baylor and, mm -hmm. you know, as far as people's folks along with Butch's Bowl. I know you guys look at it on Sunday morning. Nah, I haven't, I haven't looked at it in a while, like for a year or so. But, um, hey, you know, I think it'll come. We just got to keep winning. Can you talk a little bit about your defense's performance lately? I mean, you guys have really forced a ton of turnovers. And I mean, especially in the last game, you guys have really, really hit some guys hard. I think I saw Henry just lay in the wood to some guy. You know, what's, what's your guys' mentalities? Um, well, thing thing we've been preached to, and it's just been stuck to us, and it's in our head, ingrained in our head, is uh, alignment, assignment, make plays, and play physical. And then everything else will fall in place. So that's that's exactly what we do. We just physicality. And uh, one of the things last week that uh, Middle Tennessee, they said that uh, they were a really physical team. And that was that was one thing they harped on all week in um, their press conferences and in, in the media and stuff. So we wanted to show them that we were a physical team and that we really play physical unlike, you know, what other teams have showed them in the past. those guys we just the biggest thing is that the person that's feeling in that role they have to step up and like I like I said last week it'd be no no slack off and we just step up and we play for each other if um you know we got a guy down that those tackles that that guy was making we somebody has to fill in two people have to fill in if it's not just one person and everybody has to <laughs> just step up and make those plays that those guys are making so so we don't have a, a drop off or anything. You seem like you're one of the senior leaders over there, especially middle linebacker. So maybe taking some of the guys off to the side and like, you know, you you gotta like that, like like Jaron, you know, he started off the original starter and you know, and then KT came in and you know, do you bring those guys off to the side and say, Okay, no, this is your this is your time and you know, you've got Um I mean we we all kinda we're such a tight knit group that uh we kind of take each other to the side, and not just me, but even the younger guys, like uh, even Jerry, you know, with him being a freshman, he's able to pull guys to the side and like, hey, we got to step up. You know, he knows, he knows that he has to step up. Uh, Malcolm knows that he has to step up, just everybody as a unit. So we're not, you know, not to say that we're singling people out, but we to avoid from doing that, we just we stay as a unit and we, we're always talking as a unit. Oh, back at home, you know, nobody likes to travel, you know, when you could just play football right in your backyard. But, uh, yeah, it feels good. Hopefully, you know, we uh, on Twitter, we, they started a little hashtag, uh, Phil Malone. So, hopefully that's what happens. We uh, we keep winning, and even though it's a Sun Belt, and they, like you said, it might not be as exciting to people and everything like that, but I think we're still going to have a good support base. Oh. <laughs> but, um, but you're a young guy, but at the same time, how much is traveling like wear on you? Some people might just think, oh, you know, he's like 27 years old, so that doesn't really affect his body as it would an older person. But how much does it wear on you, especially for the last five weeks? Oh, I'm traveling just the – it makes me really tired. Like I get sleepy just from like the next day I'll be like, oh, just kind of moping around, tired. It doesn't – I wouldn't say I get like jet lag or anything. It doesn't wear on my body. It just it fatigues me a little bit. I want to just lay down and be lazy for the next couple of days. But you know, of course, you can't do that. Got to shake that. <laughs> Saturday night game, you know, have other things to do, but or they might just like think it's not as 
In the crowd, um, of course, there are those those loyal fans that have always been at the games, you know. So we expect them to be there. Then we expect the the fans that we've gained support from, you know, since we've been winning and stuff. And then we expect new faces in the crowd, and we just we welcome everyone. And we just like I said, I think it's a couple of weeks ago we love the support, and that's we just want to continue to get it. So I expect I don't expect the sellout crowd, but I expect us to have more fans than we ever had last year in the stands. Like I said, people might underestimate the wear and tear on body of travel, and I think people also underestimate just how much a home crowd you can feed off of it. Right. How important is it, and how much do you guys actually feed off of it when you're around that corner? Especially being on defense, because uh, at home, that's when that's when the fans are the loudest. So um, it's just like, especially like on the third down, when it's they need to convert and get a little crowd noise behind them, that always messes up signals or, you know, they can't talk. They have to, you know, relay the play in through players and it might slow their um, tempo down. It just fan fan noise and crowd noise can help tons. It's just – and then, of course, on the offensive side, they can get that silence if they want the crowd to, to um, you know, calm down and be a little silent. All it takes is Colton to, you know, crowd, crowd the crowd down and they're right on this side, so they'll, they'll hush up for them and – so everything, the home crowd is, it's a great advantage. What was your vote, RJ? The white jersey or the green jersey? Um. Yeah, <laughs> I said that I wonder where I go practicing jerseys. Just being funny, but uh, um, I'm not, I'm not one to be superstitious. A lot of guys are like we've been wearing white all the time. We've been winning. Let's keep wearing it. But uh, I was like, we're at home. We haven't worn the maroon jerseys yet. Let's wear them. So.